redox reaction as the basis for titration so i have explained you yesterday that what is titration titration is like to find out the strength of acids and base by by counting the readings that on what reading the uh, color change actually okay so in one situation the reagent itself is instantly colored here in this case the para magnet ion it act as a self indicator here the point end point is reaches after the last of the reactant is oxidized and the first last thing of the pink colors appears as low concentration like if we just putting drop and drop by drop at what a what situation occur the reagent itself get colored okay at one point okay this ensures minimal overshoot in color beyond the equivalence point the point where the reactant and the oxidant is equal to the term of the molar stoichiometry at that time the molar concentration or molar stoichi molar stoichiometry of the compounds become equal right if there is no dramatic auto color change there are indicators which are oxidized immediately after the last bit of reactant is consumed producing a dramatic color change the best example is for by like there is drastic color change means the there is uh, no dynamic auto color change uh, but it change when um, that when the reactant is about to finish at the last bit okay initially when we are mixing the compound there is no color change seen but it visible when uh, reactant is about to finish okay the the dichromate salt which is not a self indicator but oxidizes the indicator substance the di phenyl element just after the equivalence points to produce the instant blue color thus signaling the end point that means the the point at which the color changes that is the end end point means when the reaction is about to finish so there is a yet another example which is interesting and quite common so like iodine iodine we know this thing that the color of iodine is dark brown right it's like brownish darkish brown but it it change when it mix with the so2 o3 or with the copper or with copper copper has tendency to change the iodine's color okay so this matters relies on the fact iodine is given in still blue color starch and has very specific reaction with trisulfate ion which is which is to a redox reaction it just gives a trisulfate ion and change the color the color of the iodine gets changed whenever it react with the starch okay iodine removed in a solution containing ki and ki3 on adding in starch after the liberating of iodine from the reaction of cu2 positive ion on iodine ion an instant blue color appear whenever iodine react with the copper what happen this is a starch form and it just uh, the change color of this iodine will change to blue this color disappears as soon as the iodine is consumed by trisulfate ion thus the end point can be tracked easily by stoichiometric calculation we have, we have to calculate the number of moles or molar concentration if you want to find out the end point right now we'll talk about the reactivity series what we this thing we have learned in eighth class that what is reactivity series this happens uh, this depend on the strength what uh, what is the strength of the metal so listing the uh, metal series is like free metals higher on the list they place the metal ions lower on the list that, that this is the thing which we have learned in displacement reaction metal displacement and non metal displacement the more reactive metals kick out or displace the least reactive metals from their compound so metal above h will dissolve in acid means this is the h h is considered to be as the center point above metals can be dissolved a means uh, in acids when below can be dissolved in bases okay so cu plus f positive give f plus z and positive cu with f no reaction because of the difference in the reactivity okay zn plus h positive give zn2 and h positive so fe is below zinc so zinc metal will be displaced by the fe2 positive right as you can see there is a reaction how the color changes how the titration process occurs 
So Mg will react with copper to form Mg2 positive and copper metal. See, the reaction is going on. Copper, so this is the blue color copper solution. This is the Mg, okay? So Mg react with copper and it gives, it forms Mg2 positive. You can see the uh, compound color change and there is the deposition of something. Mg2 positive on this, okay? Copper will not build react with Mg2 positive. If we do the vice versa process, if we do just dip Mg magnesium, sorry, copper strip on the magnesium solution, so no reaction will take place because the react difference in the reactivity, right? Now, the electrochemical cells. We know this thing that the uh, reduction and oxidation will depend on the electron or the oxidation because they, we consider the removal of electron and acceptance of electron like reducing and oxidizing property so you can also study the reduction and oxidation reaction in electrochemical cell so electrochemistry is the study of redox reaction that produce or require an electrical current the conversion between the chemical energy and the electrical energy is carried out in an electrochemical cell Spontaneous redox reactions takes place in a voltaic cell as known as galvanic cell and with the battery is voltaic cell. Non-spontaneous redox reaction can be made to occur in electrolytic cell by adding an electrical energy. We have learned this thing. We will learn uh, about the cells more further in 12th class. But now we can say that the electro in electrochemical cells, there are different types of cells where we use electricity or there are some spontaneous, some are non-spontaneous. So, so spontaneous reaction will be in voltaic cell, but non-spontaneous reaction will be carried out in electrolytic cell. So there is some difference. Now, the important part of all the cells are anode and cathode. Okay. So electrode where oxidation occur is the anode. Anion attached to it connect to positive end of the battery in electrolytic cells and lose weight in electrolytic cell means when the battery when we put battery on the uh, in on the anode what happened when we just switch on the switch what happened it just start losing it just start dissolving into the solution and then start depositing on the cathode okay that is how the electroplating process is done this thing electroplating process we have studied in eighth class Okay, electrode where reduction occurs, Ele uh, in cathode electrode where reduction occurs, uh, cation attached to it, connected to negative end of the battery in the electrolytic cell and gain weight in the electrolytic cell, electrode where the plating takes place. Okay, the thing which has to be electroplated should be connected with the ca cathode and the metal which we used for electroplating must be connected on the anode. Okay, so this is the voltaic cell. You can see there is a bulb which indicates that the, the circuit is complete. Okay, so what is there? This is one chamber. This is another chamber. In one chamber, we put anode, zinc, and in another chamber, we put just cathode. Okay, that is copper. Right. This is the salt bridge. Through this ion movement of ion will take place. NO3 will move towards the, it and uh, the positive ion will move. K positive will move towards this. The electron will move from the NO2 cathode. Okay. So what happened? This is Zn, uh, Zn NO3 2 solution. This is copper NO3 2 solution. Okay, on which we put the same electrode, metal electrode. In copper NO3, we put copper. In Zn NO3, too, we put zinc. Okay, zinc electrode. It, uh, right, so what happened? When the reaction starts, when you switch on the key, the electricity starts burning. So in one chamber, oxidation reaction will take place. In another chamber, reduction reaction will take place. So in zinc, what happened? Zinc loses its electron and what zinc 2 positive will be there and this electron loose electron will be accepted by this copper and it will become cu2 positive to copper okay so reduction and oxidation occur simultaneously in one chamber there is a in half cell reduction is there and in another half oxidation will be there okay so it totally depend on acceptance or the 
like uh, uh, removal of electron right so redox reaction and electrode process the couple this is redox couple so it is defined as having together the oxidizing and reduced form of the substance taking part in an oxidation or reduction half reaction okay so this is represented by separating the oxidized form from the reduced form by a vertical line showing the solid or the solution interference this is the this is the vertical lines that shows the uh, interference from solid to liquid right for example zinc 2 positive slash zinc copper 2 positive slash copper so this is how we just tell about the ionic state or the metal state so in both the cases the oxidized form is put before the reduced form this is the oxidized form and another one is the reduced form okay so next is daniel cell now we put the beaker containing copper sulfate solution and the beaker containing the zinc sulfate solution side by side we connect the solution in two beakers by a salt bridge a u tube containing the solution of potassium chloride or ammonium nitrate usually solidified by boiling with agar agar and later cooling to a jelly like substance this provide an electrical contact between the two solutions without allowing them to mix each other the zinc and copper rods are connected by the metallic wire with a provision from an emitter with a switch this setup is known as the dalvin now now the cell is the same but what happened we have a salt bridge jelly like substance between that connect two chambers and also we have a emitter with connected a switch that is a dalvin cell when the switch is in the uh, position no reaction means when the switch is off position no reaction will take place and if you just start the switch what happened being the metal is a connecting wire metallic wire so what electrons start moving from one end to another end right as soon as the switch is on we get the following observation first is the transfer of electron now does not takes place directly from zinc to cu2 positive but through the metallic wire the connecting uh, that connecting the two rods is apparent from arrow which indicates the flow of current i've just shown you the flowing of current right we just uh, directed through a arrow the electricity from a solution in one beaker to solution in another beaker flow by migrating the ions through the salt bridge now the ionic movement will takes place through the salt bridge we know that the uh, flow of current is possible if there is a potential difference between the copper and zinc rod because of the electrode okay now what is the standard electrode potential the potential associated with each electron is uh, is e electrode is known as the electrode potential means the capacity the capability the strength is the electrode potential if the concentration of each species taking part in electrode reaction is unity which means that any gas at one atmospheric pressure and further the reaction is carried out at 298 kelvin then the potential of each electrode is the standard electron potential it is denoted by e theta okay a negative e means that redox couple is a stronger reducing agent than h positive and h2 couple but the positive e means that redox couple is weaker reducing agent and a stronger oxidizing agent than the h positive and h2 couple right so this these these couple is like uh, means it just shows the state from ion to solid state or the gaseous state uh, being uh, h2 exists in gaseous form so this is h2 molecule and this is the ionic form h positive okay now we will learn about the type of electrochemical cells i have just told you the electrodes um, the voltaic cell or galvanic cell spontaneous where delta g is smaller than 0 okay but or the electrolytic cell is no is drive for non spontaneous reaction when delta g is more than 0 okay half reaction occur at the cathode end and half reaction occur at the anode end okay this is the daniel cell just we have learned this is the electrode this is the zinc electrode this is the jelly like bridge salt bridge with a meter with a switch if you just turn on the switch what the electron transfer will takes place through this uh, wire 
and these arrow shows the movement of direction of movement of electron and these are, there is the movement of ions from here right now this is the table by which you can know which is the reducing agent more strong reducing agent or the strength electrode potential means by which we can find out the electrode potential as we know that the negative sign means this negative sign means what the stronger reducing agent than H positive this is the H positive in H2 state okay and this positive sign means the weaker reducing agent or stronger oxidizing agent right 